This is a book review of the science fiction illustrated encyclopedia by John Clute. It comes from Dorlin Kindersley and it came out in 1995. It's uh, hardback and it's approximately about 305 pages. So what's in it? Well, it's got an introduction. It's also got a brief introduction about science fiction, what's happening, life in space, and then historical context. So it goes proto-SF. And then you've got this lovely, and I think it's a great section, where it just runs through the years saying what sort of things were coming out. The Battle of Dorking. And also HG Wells, of course. Lost Worlds. And then evolution in science fiction. You've got men meets, man meets Martians. And the Planet of the Apes. And Future Wars. It's got a variety of different, the darkening world, obviously dystopian world. Science and Inventions, and you've got Charlie Chaplin there. There's a whole loads and loads of colour, loads of photos, alternate worlds, future histories. You've got another breakdown of a number of Robert Heinlein, Paul Anderson, Larry Niven, and then you got into the Silver Age, and you've got these great little thumbnail pictures, as well as obviously the films that were prominent, as well as the magazines that were meant to be like Galaxy Science Fiction, weirdly, Galaxis, German. German one there, after the apocalypse, and then you've got things like Dangerous Visions, this is in the 1960s, etc. And you go through City Life, New Beginnings for Science Fiction, there's a whole range of different ones, and it just covers. And there's also the Encyclopedia of Science Fiction, John Clute and Peter Nichols, brilliant book as well. That's a superb volume. I think there's been a couple of volumes of that. And then it gets into pulp fiction, early pulp magazines, you've got Astounding, Amazing Stories, Quarterly. Stound in science fiction, fantastic adventure. Also, some of these ones, Dusty Airs and his Battle Birds. Really runs off the tongue, that one. I imagine it was immensely popular. Apparently, 1934 to 1935. Then you've got other ones, Fantasy Science Fiction, If, Worlds of If, Analog, the lovely big analog with Dune World with Frank Herbert. Then you've got the authors, major authors. Obviously, it doesn't cover all the authors, but you've got Mary Shelley, of course, right at the start, Edgar Allan Poe, then H.G. Wells, and you've got lots of obviously examples of their books, the genres, going through notable works, icons, etc. And some people I've never heard of, Maurice Renard, terrible to admit, John W. Campbell, of course, I've heard of him, Junior. Then you've got the 1950s, Isaac Asimov, The Thousand Year Plan. So it's got some brilliant little pics of the uh, Various books, paperback books, Arthur C. Clarke, Theodore Sturgeon, and 1965, 69, was it Brian Aldiss, Philip K. Dick, Harlan Nelson, I've seen J.G. Ballard in here somewhere, uh, Joanna Russ, of course, Michael Moorcock, and many others in, into the 70s. And it just goes runs through loads and loads of great authors with a lot of description about, about them, also about their a little bibliography of all some of their most prominent works. So you've got a lot of it, William Gibson into 1990. And then it's got a lovely classic title. So it's got lots of pics of these, like Star Maker, Olaf Stapledon, Out of the Sun, like C.S. Lewis, Skylark of Space. Of course, the classic George Orwell 1984, red cover there, More Than Human, and so on and so on. So classics of the 60s, Clockwork Orange, Anthony Burgess, Thomas M. Dish, that's a brilliant one, 334. And so on. So it goes through loads and loads of great books. Got a description of them. Obviously dates when it's published. Publisher as well. Also, it doesn't ignore my favourite comics. So there's American comics here. You've got Flash Gordon. Weird. See, weird. What's his name? Weird Fantasy. Make sure I get the right one. Not Weird Tales, because of course that's the pulp magazine. Weird Fantasy. Then Batman, of course. The Dark Knight. I love that one. Dark Knight Returns. Frank Miller. Four brilliant comics. Of course, now there's a, a new Dark Knight story as well, just recently come out. Then you've got visual trickery films. So films of the 1950s. You've got all, of course, the Fantastic uh, Voyage. You've got Doctor Who and the Daleks, Batman, of course. And you've got just pages upon pages of great films, films all the way through the 90s. Some of them, I must admit, I have never seen. Communion. Communion. Can't even say it particularly well. <laughs> Terrible Communion. Never seen that film at all. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, love that one. Frankenstein Unbound. I love that. Brian Aldiss is a brilliant novel, and it was done as a, a film. I love that one with uh, John Hurt. 
It's got Batman Returns, Alien 3, Robocop 3, loads and loads of great films. And also gets into TV as well. You've got The Prisoner there, and of course Doctor Who. And many, many more. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot of stuff covered in this. It's all, of course, illustrated. It's a very comprehensive book about science fiction. I mean, obviously, there's going to be some dis bits that are missed, but it's, uh, I think, it's a very, very decent book. I know I love these sort of volumes. There's, there's been a few out over the years, uh, and this is definitely superb.